Hi. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to App Forms. We'll kind of let you know what it is and how it works. So, what is App Forms? App Forms is a web based, metadata driven, low code development platform that can be used to create custom forms, workflows, and business applications. The forms that you build in App Forms can range from anything as simple as a basic form that you might use to create or to collect uh, registration information like a data entry form or you may have some um, paper forms that you want to convert to electronic forms. It can range from something like that all the way up to a complex business application such as CRM, help desk ticketing, purchase automation, etc. Within your app forms you have access to a wide variety of data connections that will allow you to connect to various different data stores from things such as SharePoint lists and libraries to SQL Server databases, Oracle databases, web service, RESTful services, SQL Azure, Azure storage, etc. Also within App Forms, you have the ability to implement complex and custom business logic and validation rules in order to achieve whatever needs that you might have within your form to so that you can accomplish the the tasks that you need to do and you don't need to know any specific software language or be versed in any type of uh, coding languages in order to be able to do that so how does it work well, there's a couple of components. The first one is the designer. And as the name implies, this is the component that you would use to build and uh, customize your form. Within the designer, we've implemented a drag drop experience to allow you to simply drag and drop controls from the, uh, in the designer to your layout grid. Um, there's also various properties and settings that you can then customize to achieve the background color, font size, um, form size, form background, etc. Also within the designer is a built-in rules editor and this is what you'd use to be able to implement and configure any type of business logic or rules that you need to do within your form. Once the form is created and saved, the designer will generate a metadata file that's in an XML JSON format that represents the UI and contains any embedded business logic that you might have defined. The second component that's used by App Forms is the rendering engine, which is basically an application browser. And the rendering engine will take that metadata file for your form and at runtime will generate uh, the UI within an HTML5 format. Any and all forms and apps that are created from App Forms are pure HTML5 and will render in any and all modern HTML5 web browsers. So let's take a quick look at what the actual App Forms designer looks like. So here I've opened up a blank form that I created for the purposes of this uh, video, and you'll see that whenever the form is open within the designer, there are several different areas or, uh, that, that you see. Within the center here is the grid, and this is where your form will open up to. In this particular case, since it is a blank form, there are no controls that have been previously added, but you'll see that there is the concept of columns and rows within the grid that you would then utilize to, uh, to be able to lay out and to design the form to meet your needs. On the right hand side of the designer is a pane that contains a few tabs. The first one is the properties panel and as you'll notice it contains a list of properties that are available for you to set for whatever particular item currently has the selection. Now in this case we have no control so what you're seeing are the properties that are available for you to customize for the form itself. The second tab here is the Form Explorer and this lists the folder structure and would show any forms that might be uh, that are available for you to be able to open or customize. 
and the last tab is the templates tab and this shows any templates that you have defined and you can also use it to create any new custom templates that you might want to build. On the left hand side we've got a pane here that consists of a toolbar or has a toolbar tab which shows you all of the controls that are available to be inserted into your form or to be used to design your form. Uh, they range from anything uh, tree view control, table view, um, you have your labels, your buttons, text boxes. So if you want to simply add the control to the, to the grid then you just click hover, locate, hover and click on the control that you want to insert. So in this case we'll select text box and you just drag and drop it over the cell that you want to insert it to. Now you'll notice that when the text box control was inserted this pop-up window displayed and this gives you a, a subset of the more common controls that you might want to uh, I'm sorry more common properties that you might want to set for the control. So for in this example you have a control name so you can easily change the control name for the text box. You can set the default value uh, you can change the visibility or enable options, width, height, uh, alignment, font, uh, type settings, colors, etc. Also here you'll notice that for certain controls you'll have a, an option to, uh, to implement an attached label. So in order to do that you just check the show label and let's say this, this uh, control was going to store or was going to be used for first name so we can type first name there and that creates uh, an attached label and by attached that simply means it is associated with the text box control so that if I move one it moves both. Um, as uh, you also might have seen here if you should have dropped maybe the control in a location that you need to change for whatever reason you can simply drag and move the control around the form. Um, across the top you have a few buttons. You have the new form. That will create a new form, obviously. Uh, save button will save the current form, but not check it in. Uh, check in will actually check it in, and by checking it in, that will allow you to actually publish it and make it available for your user base to be able to use. And there's also this control, this button over here, the preview form, which is very useful whenever you're designing this button will allow you to actually render a, a view of the form as what it might look like when it's published but prior to actually publishing it and it's very useful when you're designing the form so that you can make sure that you know the color scheme you set up looks right or maybe the uh, the alignment of the controls looks nicely whenever it's actually displayed in, in, in preview mode or what it will look like when it's actually rendered and one additional thing that I found very useful is whenever you've built your custom business logic or rules if you want to or have a need to debug those you can do that within the preview mode and again very helpful to do it there rather than once it's already been published so as you can see here I've clicked the preview form it will open it up load it um, I set the default or I, I set the default value for the text box to test so you can see it actually implemented that. Um, you can see what it would look like if you type different uh, within the control. And again, this is just a, uh, a very useful way to be able to test it prior to actually uh, going through the process of publishing it and putting it out to your user base for testing and use. Um, well, this concludes basically what I wanted to cover in the introduction video. Um, I hope you found that this video is useful and beneficial. I would urge you to please review our other training videos for more in-depth tutorials concerning app forms uh, as well as how to implement various tasks within your app forms forms. Thank you.